Hi there, folks. Sherry Schreiber at gettingbetter.com. And, um, boy, most of what I give you resonates with you somewhere deep inside because I'm speaking to you about common sense things so you can relate to them there's a place inside of you that has some common sense and connects to these things i'm saying if they're making sense to you unfortunately common sense is very uncommon these days <laughs> it's really frightening uncommon as a matter of fact <laughs> and um Based on a phone call from somebody I got this morning, a fellow that called me this morning, I want to talk to you about rebound relationships. Now, what I'm about to say may make common sense to you, and it may not. But the thing with rebound relationships, we think of rebound relationships as, you know, we get involved with somebody right after a relationship has ended, and um and there's no space in between to regroup or figure out who the hell we are and uh and reconnect with ourself um in in the interim before we and and lick our wounds and heal a bit before we get involved with somebody new a rebound relationship though is not necessarily about getting involved with somebody immediately after a relationship ends Borderlines are kind of notorious for this because they're trying to fill the hole in their soul. But um, but the average person, you know, it, it, it's if you haven't completely healed from the last involvement you had, if you haven't come to terms with that involvement, if you're still longing and yearning for that person, if there's unfinished business about that relationship, for you still, you have no business getting involved with anybody else. Why? <laughs> because you're so preoccupied with that person. You're still obsessing about them and what you might have done differently or better in the relationship to have made it uh, work out better, bring about a better outcome other than you being dropped on your head. But there's no time limit is what I really want to impress upon you. So you could have a relationship end and a year or two later get involved with somebody, but it's still a rebound relationship if that if you aren't resolved completely about that other relationship, if you haven't completely healed from that other relationship, if you're still preoccupied with thoughts of that person, if you're still obsessing about that person, you're in a rebound relationship with somebody new. Now, <laughs> just a little um, exercise and empathy for you today. How would you feel? Let's say you're coming into a, you meet somebody you're excited about. You don't have any baggage you're carrying around. You're clean, emotionally available, open to loving somebody again. And you're going to explore uh, getting to know this person to see if they can be a right fit for you. Now, how would it be for you? <laughs> If they were still hung up on their ex, if it, it could be years later after their breakup with that person, they're still thinking about them, they're still cogitating on them, they're still obsessing about them and what went wrong in the relationship, they can't quite let it go emotionally, uh, they're still hurting from that relationship. How would it be for you if you knew that was going on in the background for them? Wouldn't it be like three people were in your relationship? I mean, it's not just you and them. It's you, them, and their ex that's there. Okay. So how would that feel for you? The bottom line here is it's not fair to get involved with somebody new. I don't care how loving and healthy you think they are until you've finished your business with the other person, until you've grown, until you've healed, until you've cleaned up the mess in your own backyard. It's not fair for you to get involved with somebody new and hope 
that that relationship will work out for you. Yes, I understand. Excuse me. The desire to have somebody help you lick your wounds, to have somebody put band-aids on your bruised ego from that last involvement. But is it really fair to the other person? Is this an empathic, healthy way to start a new romance? I mean, really, this is just common sense. If you're still bruised and bleeding from the last guy or gal who dumped you, or who you just had to step away from because the relationship was so toxic for you, is it fair for you to bring that baggage into a new relationship with somebody else that you hope will obliterate the memory of the one who you're still obsessing about? So rebound relationships aren't necessarily those that come about immediately after you've broken up with somebody. They're not. It could be years later. And if you're still, you know, ruminating on that relationship and, you know, thinking of all the good times you shared and shaming yourself for what you think you did wrong in that relationship, you're not ready to bond again. There's no fucking way on God's green earth you're ready to bond again. So don't. You have to repair yourself before you take on passengers. In other words, think of yourself as a ship. If your ship has holes in its hull, <laughs> it's going to take on water. Your passengers will not be able to reach their destination intact. I don't care whether it's your kids. I don't care whether it's your lovers, your future boyfriends or girlfriends. I don't care who it is. If your ship isn't sound and sturdy, and water-worthy, sea-worthy, you have no business taking on passengers. You just don't. Now, this is going to land on a lot of people like like concrete, probably. It's going to piss them off. Because a lot of you are at home saying, oh, what do you mean? I have to completely heal myself before I get involved with somebody new? Yeah, you do. Because otherwise, the somebody new that you're involved with, that relationship is going to end up a lot like the first one <laughs> or the second one or the tenth one. <laughs> you're just filling the gap. You're filling the hole in your soul. You're not giving yourself a chance to regroup, figure out who the hell you are now in the aftermath of that other relationship because there's, with any luck at all, been some development and growth along the way. <laughs> who are you today? Okay. Opposed to who you were when you got involved with that person. Who are you today? Take an internal assessment. Got a hair in my mouth, excuse me. It's amazing I don't get fur balls. <laughs> but honest to God, folks, and, and long distance relationships, that's not a relationship. I have a whole video on this. <laughs> long distance relationships while you're licking your wounds from this last failed attempt at love, <laughs> it's not a relationship. It's uh, you're play acting at a relationship. It's not the real deal. Okay. If it ain't up a close and personal on a consistent level, in other words, if that person isn't living less than a mile away from you or so, it ain't a relationship. Okay. So I think that's all I want to say about that. And if this makes common sense to you, Oh, I'm very happy about that. If it doesn't, and you're just pissed off because I'm raining on your parade, and you really want to forget that last person you were involved with, and get involved with somebody new, so they can, you know, you can try and obliterate their memory for yourself. You're headed down a rabbit hole that isn't going to yield good results, my dears. You just are. Okay. All right. <laughs> I hope this sinks in for a lot of you because, uh, you know, I just see this happening all the friggin' time. I really do. I see it happening all the time. And 
P.S. If you were involved with somebody who was abusive to you, neglectful of you, and you're still yearning and longing for that person, you better take a look at your mother attachment because that's where that longing and yearning thing came from that you interpreted as a child was the emotion of love. It's not love at all. Okay, Real love is never painful. It's not about craving what's just out of reach to you. Okay? Think about it. Don't date until you straighten yourself out. Really, don't do it. And it can take a year or more to straighten yourself out to get with a competent professional who knows how to help you heal because they've healed themselves. Bye for now.